Okay, now let's look at the problem 8.23. Uh, uh, the question asks uh, that if we have a S square, that is uh, the sample variance from a uh, normal random sample of size n, and then one, the question asks us to show that the expectation of S square is the true variance at sigma square, and the variance of this uh, sample variance is this. Okay, so we have actually in class we have showed that expectation of S square is equal to sigma square. Uh, uh, but here, since we're from there, we already proved that the n minus 1 S square over sigma square is following the chi square distribution with n minus 1 as the degrees of freedom. So by this, we know that this, we just treat this guy as the chi square uh, random variable with n minus 1 as the degrees of freedom. In other words, this is actually also equal to the gamma distribution with n minus 1 over 2 as the alpha and 2 as the beta. So that's why the expectation of this random variable here is actually just the, the expectation of this gamma distribution with this alpha as alpha and beta. So we know that for gamma distribution, the expectation is alpha times beta. So on the one hand, we know that the expectation of this should be half of n minus 1 times 2, and that's why it's n minus 1. But on the other hand, since we just have this thing multiplied to our random variable as a square, this sigma square, n minus 1, they're all constants. So the expectation of this can be equal to, it's just equal to the one that we pull out this constant. So that's why we also have this. So that is why this and this are equal. Okay. So if they are equal, then we can easily, easily derive that the expectation. We can just cancel the n minus 1. We see the expectation of s square is just equal to sigma square. Now that proves this first part. Now the second part, the variance of this. Now since again, the variance of this is just uh, the variance of this uh, gamma distribution. For gamma distribution, the variance is alpha beta square. So that is uh, this. So that's alpha beta square. But on the other hand, so this actually just reduced to that, okay, just simplified. But on the other hand, we know that again, this is just the variance of S square multiplied by this constant. So when we compute the variance, we can just pull out this constant and square it, and it will become just the square of this constant times the variance of S square. That is why when we equate these two, then we can figure out that the variance of S square is just this. Okay, so just by equating these two things.